Hi, this is Walking and Talking Spirituality. I'm Brian, thanks for taking a walk with me. And today I'm just thinking about focus. I don't have to remind all of us that so many distractions in the world, but one of the lessons that I've heard different people say, and I've known this to be true from the moment I heard it, the saying is, where our focus goes, energy flows. You know, I think I, maybe I've heard Tony Robbins say that. And I know I've heard that phrase from other teachers. But I want you to think about what's your focus on and what is my focus on? I learned this lesson back when my daughters were really young. Again, they're both essentially college graduates now and I have one in grad school. But when they were little, especially my oldest daughter, she was learning to ride the bike. So she was five or six or four, I don't even remember anymore, and took her to, to practice riding a bicycle in a parking lot at the elementary school that was two or three houses from where the kids grew up. And it was amazing what happened. Again, with this empty parking lot, went after school and nobody's there. And the only obstacle that we had to worry about in the whole parking lot was a tree that was kind of in the middle. So it ended up being like a circular parking lot. And there was just this one tree and a small little bed around it. The rest of it, perfect place to ride a bike. It was asphalt, there's no traffic. But every time I gave Mick a little push, lo and behold, she drove straight to that tree. And I remember having to run as fast as I could to grab her at the last second. And she just kept doing it over and over again. And, and, and I finally figured out what was going on. And I, and I said, well, Michaela, don't focus on where you don't want to go. Focus on where you actually want to be. Jim jumps on the bike. And I said, look, focus on the road where you want to go. And she essentially instantly got it, never came close to the tree again. And you know, rides bikes to this day. In fact, now sometimes we go on, you know, even a 15 mile bike ride and I notice she never drives towards trees or anything else now. I only share that story. It's kind of funny, but in our own lives, it's so easy to be distracted and lose our focus. I mean, this is true of whatever we do as, uh, as our vocations it can be true in our relationships. But friends, where's your focus at today? And I'm asking myself that too, because I've easy for me to get distracted too. What is my focus on? To so go back to the beginning of the year, my word for this year was going to be reservoir, and it still is a reservoir. I want to be a reservoir so that everything that I give out is at the overflow of the abundance of grace that I've received from God. But, but you know what I've noticed? I've got distracted several times pretty massively this year by various stressors and again, kind of a million excuses. But the reality is, it's easy to lose your focus. So where are you at? What's your focus on today? Have you thought about it that way? And what would it look like even today to realign yourself with the true focus of our soul, which is growth in love for neighbor, for God, and even love for ourselves, to see ourselves as God truly sees us, and then live our lives out of that abundance. Where our focus goes, our energy flows. If you wanna live a life of energy and passion, full of grace and peace, Put your focus on God. Again, if you want to talk a little bit more about this, just feel free to reach out for me. Otherwise, thanks so much for the privilege of a few minutes of your time. Live by faith, be known by love, and be a voice of hope to others.